Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about OSP Ovin St. Pru versus Ryan Superman Span. Well, if Superman was as inconsistent as Span, a lot of people would be never mind. Uh, OSP 27 wins, 17 losses, 2 in 3 in his last 5 fights, 2 in 1 in his last 3. Got finished by Felipe Linz very, very fast in their matchup. Got back on track against Kennedy and Zekachu. Kind of turned back the clock, to be, Jesus, to be honest. Kennedy and Zekachu is known to be a little bit of a slow starter. Did start to pick it up a little bit as the fight went on. But OSP just looked really good in that matchup. That, that's just the reality. We have to remember that the reason why this guy had a decline is he's 40 years old. The style that he had when he was younger and you have a 40, you you are susceptible to be caught. You know, this was a guy before, um, 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 who's the guy that finished him? Um, uh, uh, Jimmy Manuel was the first one to finish him in the UFC. You know, Glover obviously finished him when he was before he had under 20 wins. He was 19 and seven at that point. But this guy was an absolute freak athletically wise. Um, again, plus two sixty-five underdog. I think that's a pretty. I don't think. I don't think Ryan Span is three to one better than uh, OSP. We'll get to that. Forty-one years old, six three with an eighty-inch reach, fighting Ryan Span, who's twenty-one and 10, 2 and three as well in his last five fights, but on a three-fight losing streak. And it's crazy too because after the Dominic Reyes fight, he looked he looked awesome in that fight. But again, it's Dominic Reyes, not great. Even though he beat my boy Justin Jacoby, called that. Sorry, called that. And then lost to Tequila Krylov after a weird rescheduling of that matchup. Uh, lost to Anthony Smith by split decision in a fight that he absolutely had and he fumbled the bag. And then fought Bogdan Guskov and got absolutely mauled. Coming back five months later. And you guys know I do not like that. Now, again, as of... Uh, and he's 33 years old, 6'5", with a 7'9"-inch reach, 2-inch in height for Span, 1-inch in reach for OSP. This is a tailor-made matchup for OSP because you have a guy in Ryan Span who's decent at length, but he also has issues taking shots. Now, again, I'm not saying Guskov is bad. He's a decent striker. He's very good at range and using those awkward, he keeps his hand down to the side, you know, his hands down to the side, and he'll throw some awkward shots. But Span, his chin is weird. Like, he, he should have beaten Johnny Walker. He ends up getting finished because he rushes it too much. Literally had Johnny Walker done. But in a grappling matchup, I would say Span, if Span can mix in all elements, then he should probably beat OSP. The problem is, is for one, two things, Span is susceptible to being caught with straights. OSP throws really good strikes, straights. He has a very, very nice head kick. Look, look for him to be setting that up all night. But also, Ryan Span was just flatlined five months ago. Flatlined. So it, it, it's one of those things where can Span close the distance? Can Span not take punishment? And can Span grapple OSP? Because I think if he can hurt OSP, especially against the cage, he could probably uh, submit him. But OSP at a plus 265 underdog, I liked him even if he was a favorite. But 265 underdog for OSP is kind of crazy, to be honest. I like OSP. I like him setting up that head kick, that left head kick all night. And I think he gets the finish of Ryan Span. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. We'll talk about it. Put down in the comment section under this video or the first one, Tim Means Court McGee video. Let me know which one you guys want next. And as always, peace.